Hello and welcome to the PMOD introductory series. In the next few minutes, we will provide a short overview of the PMOD 3D image rendering tool. PMOD's 3D image rendering tool offers a unique environment for visualizing information from anatomical and functional studies. It allows the construction of 3D scenes from any number of registered input series. Volume and surface rendering can readily be mixed in order to apply the most adequate technique for any data type. As a particular feature, both rendering types can be textured with static or even dynamic information. Additional elements, such as image planes or volumes of interest, are available to enrich the scene, while cutaways can be used to reveal inner structures. All of these features are made easily available via a highly interactive interface and make P3D the ideal tool for presenting exciting research results. The following three minute demo will provide a brief impression of our 3D image rendering tool. SPECT and CT images of a tumor bearing mouse will be rendered. The CT data is used for visualization of the skeleton and soft tissue and is combined with rendering of SPECT tracer accumulation in the kidneys and tumor xenografts. Various volume and surface rendering techniques are applied to create meaningful 3D scenes. CT and SPECT images from a mouse are loaded into the 3D tool. A slight smoothing is applied to the CT image in order to reduce noise, which would otherwise impact negatively on the rendering results. All objects rendered in 3D are the result of a segmentation operation. To isolate the kidneys, a region growing segmentation is applied to the corresponding hotspots in the SPECT image. The detected boundaries are then surface rendered and coloured. The bony structures can easily be extracted from the CT image by simple thresholding. When this segment is surface rendered, the mouse skeleton is revealed. The soft tissue information is then added by volume rendering all body pixels. The result yields a relatively low resolution impression of the body volume surrounding the inner skeleton. By switching off the skeleton rendering and using a specific color table, a typical volume rendering of a CT scene can be generated while maintaining the visibility of the inner kidney volumes. When rotating the scene, the tumor mass on the upper back becomes clearly visible. Functional information is now added to the volume rendering by selecting the SPECT image as a texture. In the resulting rendering, it becomes clear which part of the tumor shows the highest SPECT tracer uptake. To add visual interest and anatomical guidance, the skeleton surface rendering is restored and combined with frontal surface lighting. A further visualization option is the removal of parts of an object to expose inner structures. In our example, a quadrant has been cut out of the body rendering, such that the left foreleg is isolated and the tumor is better resolved in depth. One of the best uses of 3D rendering is for animation, such as a continuous rotation of the scene to allow inspection of the result from all angles. Naturally, such animations can be saved as movies for later use when presenting results. As a final step, a protocol file can be saved to allow rapid reproduction of the current rendering at any time later. This ends our short introduction to the PMOD 3D image rendering tool. Trial installations are available to test the full functionality of PMOD and its tools. Please visit our website for further details and for information about the other products from PMOD Technologies. Thank you for your attention.